The world is becoming more difficult every day with increasing disasters as well as conflicts. Communities are having to work harder to come up with sustainable solutions. Hi, I am Yusuf and I'm your guide as we take a journey to learn more about community-driven resilience. For real sustainability, there is a need to help empower communities solve their own challenges. Let's look at a community called Trivial and try to understand how they use their assets to strengthen their skills and capacities to become more resilient against all the shocks and stresses. Trivial suffers frequently from flooding and challenges of waterborne disease outbreaks. As a community, we rely on our internal strengths. For example, we give support to our neighbors. Since government officials started issuing early warning information on pending rains, the floods do not affect us as much as in the past. People organize themselves to build neighborhood barricades and some move to their extended families in the city in time before the floods hit hard. That has reduced losses in our community. But as we begin to build resilience, it is important to answer the question, resilience to what? As communities work to plan how to build their resilience, they specifically identify the hazards, shocks and stresses that they typically face. Let's learn more about the fictional community Trivial. Trivial is a village of 3,000 people located in the northern state of the Federal Republic of Atlas along the equator. It has extreme weather patterns of both drought and flooding from Old River. This has triggered massive displacements to the neighboring city of Budsville and abroad. I will start by introducing to you Dorothy. Oh, and in case you were wondering why this place is called Trivial, it is because long ago in history, it had an abundance of trees. That was before most of all the trees were cut down to supply charcoal for cooking. But maybe in time, it will have trees again. Let's check in and see what Dorothy is doing in today's trivial. As Dorothy supports her mother, Mariam, to take the sheep for grazing, she walks long distances, but most of the water sources and grass have dried up. Some of the sheep were beginning to drop dead. One evening, she went back home only to find that there was nothing to eat, no drink, because people at home could not find water in the whole village. She started wondering what they would do differently next time they get rain. Why not make a water reservoir? Her sister Hannah heard her and jumped in quickly saying, this is a good idea. Let's talk to mom and the school head teacher, Mr. Adam, for help. Mr. Adam liked the idea and soon promised to convene a meeting for the school board, students, parents, and village leaders. In the meeting, the village leader, Mosa, donated land to Mariam's water reservoir. Hannah and her classmates began to make a community plan as the rest of the community members began to work on the water reservoirs for Trivial. As Dorothy, Hannah and her classmates begin, they remember that someone recently built a new kind of water reservoir and that was better than all the others. They knew right away they needed to find a designer and bring him to help them make improved water reservoirs for Trivial. As you can see, in a short time, the whole of Trivial began to get excited about water reservoir plans. The school began to support the construction of the water reservoirs, but along the way, they realized they needed additional help. They started thinking of partnerships. That's how I come in. And now we are working to see what other shocks and stresses are impacting Trivial. The community is finding ways it can continue to build its resilience. With partnerships, Many stakeholders can also contribute to community resilience as the community seeks help. 